Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael, I will talk about energy today. What is energy? Don't think of energy as what happens and causes light in your homes. Energy is a wave that every being on this planet emanates. Every little cell in your body is an energy factory, she needs this energy to stay alive, to bring health, to keep her body functioning correctly. You consume energy through food, as each one has its own energy. You use this energy and spend your own energy keeping your body functioning. As you can see, everything is a great balance. Man has tried, and managed, over many eons to change this balance, destroying, killing, throwing everything toxic that you produce onto the earth. Gaia is a living being and has allowed herself to be contaminated for eons and eons, but now all this rot is being cleansed. Gaia will return to being the beautiful blue planet it was many eons ago, without pollution, with clean seas, with adequate temperatures, with protected fauna, with unburned flora, with trees in their proper places. Of course, all this destruction done over so many eras will not be recovered in a single day, but it will be very quick, because new technologies will appear. The future, my dear ones, is bright, wonderful, if you just want to participate in it. Returning to talking about energy. Your energy has colors that are exposed on the external side of your body, in an envelope called aura. Your body is a unique organism, that is, what happens in one cell, all the others know about it. So if you feel pain, your aura exposes it, if any point is sick, in the same way, then you vibrate in colors. When you are loving, calm, well fed, well, physically, well, mentally, your aura is the brightest and most beautiful thing you can see, as it is a mix of colors, as if it were a great rainbow in around you, bright and calm. When you vibrate bad feelings of low vibration, such as, anger, sadness, envy, pride, anguish, evil, your entire aura loses its color and becomes darkened. So let's do a little exercise, imagine yourself rising many meters above the earth's surface, what would you see if you could see people's auras? It would be a big blur of colors. Imagine that many had bright and colorful auras, what a spectacle it would be to see from up there. You would be intoxicated by so much beauty, but today what we see from up here is very sad, as there are very few bright and colorful spots. What we see is a large dark mass as if trying to swallow the bright mass. But the light is always winning and each bright aura is always much larger than the dark auras, so somehow they stand out in the midst of this great dark mass. This is how, my brothers, we, the beings of light, see you. Our eyes, making a parallel with the physical body that you have on earth, only see energy, they do not see the physical body. So we don't see, white, black, yellow, fat, thin, short, tall, ugly, beautiful, blonde, dark, black. We don't see any of that. To us you are just energy, and we can see each of you this way, a bright and colorful being or a dark mass. The more you emanate love, the more you grow and the more you appear. It's as if you become fat with energy but that doesn't make you better than those apparently skinny. No, all of you are equal, just whoever emanates more has the power to attract more light, and to cause change in the aura of some. These are the light workers, and they are on your planet right now doing work to attract more brothers to the light, so that their auras become bright, that's all. They are neither better nor worse than you, they are identical. They just have accumulated a little more light and have an important function. Can anyone be a light worker? Yes, anyone. Just follow the path, just learn to love and follow our teachings. Therefore, my brothers, when we say that the path of ascension will separate the wheat from the chaff, it is very easy for us, it is peaceful, because we do not need to enter the minds or hearts of each one of you, to know what you think. 
you emanate what you think. So for us it's very easy, and there's no way you can fool us. Keep saying nice words, saying you're nice if your aura remains dark. Shouting from the rooftops, I love God, I love Jesus, I love Buddha, I love whatever divine is, but inside emanating hatred, nothing changes, the aura remains dark. So my brothers, don't think that you deceive us with little words, with attitudes, ah, I'm going to do this because I'm going to appear good to God. There is no mistake. What emanates is the heart, and the heart is the only one, either it is or it isn't. We know exactly who you are. Who each of you is, but not by form, nor by name, we know by their auras. You are children of light or children of evil. All this talk is part of the ascension process, and this is how the wheat will be separated from the chaff. I have told you several times, not everyone will walk the road to ascension, only those who really vibrate love in their hearts and their auras become bright. I am Archangel Michael, but I am the representative of the entire angelic kingdom, and I really want me to be able to visualize the earth from up here as a big blur of colored lights.